Hi, this is Chris Gerald, Everyday VBA, and in this video, we are doing another Macro Monday Challenge. Well, what is a Macro Monday Challenge? I post a video every Monday of just a small little macro challenge, something to kind of get you going in, in Visual Basic, keep you going, try something new, and this one is really straightforward, and this one you can actually solve recording, which is kind of nice. So uh, sometimes I'm doing loops and for loops and if statements, and those you cannot record, but this one you actually can. So uh, this one is... If you have a set of data, a lot of times um, you can have your data just end up uh, not being necessarily super clean. Um, and so, for example, um, in this example, it just doesn't look it just doesn't look pretty. And so, you want to make it default. Now, I throw a lot of my stuff in tables just because it looks a lot nicer. So, I highly recommend those. Um, but really, all the macro that we're going to do is it basically just change the change it to whatever the default format is and get rid of all the coloring. And so, I've got a macro here. Go to developer tools. We're gonna to go to macros. We're gonna just call it default format. Now I'm gonna run that, and it's gonna set the default format um, all the way back to whatever the default is. So I'm gonna click run, and you'll notice that that gets nice and clean. Now, why is this important? It's not important if you do it one time. Uh, that's not a big deal. But if you are pulling data in, or if you have a data that collects data and pushes it somewhere else, and you're collecting that from an email or from another spreadsheet or from the web, sometimes it just doesn't look clean. Um, and especially if this is a, a, a is facing the client uh, or your boss, sometimes they, a lot of times bosses like clean data. So that is your Macro Monday challenge, and I hope you enjoyed.